Hello everybody, this is Crater. Uh, start with a little YouTube channel. I can throw some games out there, especially for you guys who don't have B for C yet. And, uh, get in a couple games. I'm already playing, so why not show you what's going on. So let's get in here. We'll go ahead and play the uh, Five Color Control. It's a mega one to see it played. And, uh, hopefully, actually win. I've been trying to get this uh, out there for about 24 hours now, but between having issues with the sound, uh, some real life issues coming in, because I went out for dinner last night and drinks with the wife, really didn't have a chance to do anything to right now, so, uh, let's see, got a level rank 39 person, let's see my cards are not the greatest, we're going to ship this back, this is way better, we'll go ahead and keep that, so this is Miss Zabolics, and they are down to five cards, That's spectacular for me, not so much for them, so, let's see, I think right now, the best case scenario is to go get black. Hopefully we're going to make a weekend. Uh, looks like I might be fighting Boros. Always fun. And... That will make, uh... Um, Nixles here and Radiant Flames a, uh, good pickup. Spectacular. So... Let's see what we can get through here. Going first against these decks is, uh, fantastic. So, that's an interesting card to have. Look out. Makes me think I might be playing an Allies deck. I played one yesterday, and they're actually fairly, uh, decent. A Mardu one. I was, uh, rather surprised how good it was. So, I'll go ahead and drop out a Pilgrim's Eye. Going quicker isn't necessarily better right now. But I definitely need to get some land going, so we'll go ahead and get a, another... We'll go ahead and get white. I don't mind showing my hand a little bit. Don't think it's uh, overly bad at this point. I don't have to worry about land destruction so far. We need green. Ooh, menace. Hello. That's unfortunate. However, it's uh, one damage. I'm not too terribly worried about one damage. And just to confirm, I can't block him. I cannot. Alright. Just seeing. Maybe if they had coded it wrong or something. I haven't seen that yet. But you never know. This is Wizard, uh, Thingless. And uh, they've been uh, not the greatest in the world. So I'll drop another Pilgrim's Eye. And we'll get another swamp right here for Abby. I have uh, two in the deck, just so I can go fetch them out like this. <coughs> and we'll go ahead and step attack. I don't really need to do anything else. I'm going to see if I can get him to commit uh, a couple more cards. He does seem to have uh, all the land he ever wants. Um, haste, that's definitely not what I wanted to see. But that's okay. Swing with what you want. I have blockers. Spectacular. That's what we're going to do here. I'm going to double block that guy because haste is probably uh, the worst keyword against me. So, always bad to see that on the other side of the field. I got a bunch of things I could do here. I think what I'll do here is I'll get another plane so I can play all my sweepers with zero real issues. And at the end of the turn I'll connection for another land. I'm just gonna ramp up. It's really not putting a putting this on a big clock. And it makes life very easy for me. This could have definitely gone a lot worse. And I don't see it being Mardu. I don't see any black. So, I think we're okay. And if I happen to be wrong about that, I'm not super great with the names 
for the colors. Uh, just give me some corrections in the comments. Nobody's perfect, at least all me. But, you know, it is what it is. So, what are you doing? You have four mana. There you go. Look at that. Vigilance. Definitely not scared of Vigilance. So, I'll go down to 13 here, and this is about the time I need to start Radiant Flames. So, we'll do Natural Connection for our fours. And, uh... Well... Kind of the tricky thing. You know, we're going to get some life here. She's going to make their life very uncomfortable. And we'll go up 11 life total right here between the first land I dropped and then the three we're getting from here. And the uh, seven life from Nisa's Renewal, which is by far probably one of my favorite spells in the deck. It just does so much. Now, if he drops another one of these cats, there's not much I can do about it. Other than, uh, take the five. Fortunately, they don't have any pump abilities. That makes, uh, life very easy. So I'll drop Hob Nixon's next turn. We'll do Radiance Flames. For uh, really don't want to do it for three, because I'd like to keep the offshoot, but I'm a comfortable 21 life. So I don't really think that's that big a deal, so let's just drop a uh, big man on campus here. And then we'll go ahead and radiant flames and wipe the board. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and draw ourselves a card. And see what we pick up. And that will determine what we do. Oh, that's fantastic. So we'll drop another Evolving Wilds. And we'll just leave that on the table for now. You don't need to use it. We are 10 cards further in the deck than he is. Partially because he went down to 5 cards. And uh, partially because I just go through the deck pretty quick. Getting lands out of the way between all of those cards. Does good things. Somebody just texted me. I wonder if it's completely worthless. Fantastic. You have to love that. So, this cat's still here. It does look like they're Mardu, uh, which means I might have a 4-3 hasted guy coming at me. Or is it a 3-4? I don't remember. I haven't uh, actually had it played on me but once. Alright, so a little late. Definitely not something I'm overly worried about. So, let us draw some cards. Big fan of drawing cards. And, ooh, all kinds of good stuff. So I don't really need another land right now. And I think I'm good with a Brilliant Spectrum. So, yeah. And I just got a Quitter there, which I, can't, I can understand. Definitely uh, four cards up on them there and four, ten before that. That's pretty good. So they have Entanglers, the Healer. Yeah, I've seen this deck a couple times. I don't know if you guys have. It's uh, It's been pretty interesting. I haven't seen Kytheon in there before. Uh, mainly because he doesn't turn into an ally, but the other uh, Gideon has been in there, and he's been fantastic. Also, with, like, Valor of Akros, it's been a scary deck, just what it is. So, let's draw a card, because, well, I can. And, it's not gonna hold I think I'm gonna stand like that, and get the Myria Angel, maybe. Uh, what have we got? Three things I can bring back. Pilgrim's Eyes and the Offshoot. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. It's not a huge crisis. So let's go and beat the AI. I'm going to take a little bit of turn and whack the black sources. And let's see if I get attacked or if I'm Nixless. There you go. It really depends on the deck. The, uh, Fly or red deck wins, however you want to say it, they typically are using 
uh, their damage goes straight to the face. They haven't cared about Planeswalkers, not against this deck, which is uh, not overly surprising. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can't Ulamog and Radiant Flames, which is not really a big deal. So let's go ahead and Radiant Flames. We'll do it for 2. To, uh, clear his board. I really don't need to be too particular over that. We'll drop uh, from beyond. Um, the the uh, search function for this doesn't really work for me anymore. I do have both my Eldrazi in the field, which honestly, for these kind of decks, you don't need anything more. Uh, Ulamog and the Oblivion Sower. They are uh, fantastic in those roles. So let's go ahead and attack, and then we'll draw after that. And begin the uh, slow beat down of a uh, five eight and a soon to be ten ten, smack him about the head. Uh, you know I'm gonna go ahead and drop that land, draw a card, and see what happens here. Uh, uh, yeah, figures. Oh well, you know it doesn't matter too much because I don't have a whole lot. I need to go and uh, pull out the graveyard. And like I said before, I got the offshoot and two pilgrim eyes. So the world went, uh, Blade World, excuse me, the Core Blade World, uh, First Strike. Really not scary. Considering most of the creatures in that deck are, as somebody stated before, they're basically bears or less. So, yeah, fantastic. Let's go ahead and, uh, whack a couple of land. Get rid of his black sources. And we'll go ahead and draw another card. Really, he doesn't like drawing cards. And then, uh, we're gonna smack about the face for five unless he decides to block. And I really don't see a way after this deck drops Olamog for that other deck to pull out of it. Shambling Vent. What I'm going to do, because I like this, uh, this Martyr deck, I've seen it before, actually very entertaining. I'm going to go ahead and just attack with Olmog and let him block, and we're going to see what's actually in it. Cause I, really, I haven't seen it on the uh, NGA forums. doesn't mean it's not there, I just haven't looked for or seen it. There's the dude, Munda Ambush Leader, is a 3-4 haste, and he basically goes and looks for your uh, allies. Pretty decent. Uh, Lantern Scout gives you life link. Would assume it would help you survive longer. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, the Night Watch which survives uh, Languish and you can give it flying whenever you gain life. So that teams up pretty well with a couple of cards. And the uh, Cluster Healer, um, very sick. You can do some crazy things with that, especially with the Valorant Acres, which I do not see yet. So, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and pull back a Pilgrim's Eye. And play it. Get another land, because I can. Yep. And, uh, now that is completely worthless. I have no other basic lands. Not a big deal. I can always enchant it if I needed to. With the, um, go ahead and draw a card. Can always enchant it as an awakened land from uh, using any of the spells you might have. So that's not a huge crisis, as I was saying. Alrighty, well, go ahead and go and let him do something. We'll look at the last uh, 20 cards after I uh, make him discard. Or, excuse me, exile the rest of the library. And we'll go from there. He's going to tap something down. Yep, pretty much worthless. That's actually a pretty big body for that deck, but it's 5 mana. Super slow. <coughs> so, yay, Jetty off shoot. And we'll have almost no land left. So, what we'll do here, we'll go ahead and, oops, go ahead and swing with the team. Drop the library. 
Let's see what's in the rest of this here. Chasm Guide, so Haste, Healer, Spires. That's a really surprising. Alright, oops. Uh, Hero is fantastic. Giving you guys indestructibles is really good, especially since they're all pretty weak. Wunda. Uh, there you go, Gideon. He's uh, fantastic. The deck you can just always drop a 2-2 uh, ally every turn. And the synergy just goes off the roof. I'm really surprised, especially as crazy as this deck looks, he doesn't have the Valorant uh, Acros. That would be fantastic in this deck. Uh, I've actually seen a couple of them with that. Oh well. No biggie. Let's move on to the, uh, the next game. <coughs> now, I'm not really good at this, so it'll be really funny. Which nobody will hear if it's the case, is if I haven't actually started the matchup. That would be rather amusing. Alrighty. Back to the old kitchen sink here. Let's see what's going on. People are on pretty good today. I haven't had any woo issues getting on, other than onto the Steam service when I first started this up about, about 10, 15 minutes ago. <coughs> so we have the uh, Red Eyed Jace out in the middle of the Dunes. What do I say? Blue Red? No telling. Level rank 37, Muko Mo, and he didn't have a good connection with me. So let's forget to play some AI. Um, this would be a fantastic hand if I had some green. Ship that back. Alright, this will work. So let's go ahead and go get us some green. I can play pretty sloppy against AI. Doesn't mean I'm going to win, but I can play sloppy. So hopefully I draw a third land and then Pilgrim's Isle come out and I'm in business. Stretches and splits like he's playing. Something that may be fast. Oh yes. The glory chaser. Good thing I got an offshoot to block. All spectacular. That really couldn't have gone too much better. That's gonna come into play tap next turn, but you know what? I'll live with that. That's not a huge crisis. I really like these lands, just because it only requires two basics. Better than the uh, other lands that only require one of a basic land type that matches the color it plays. But sometimes it does bite me in the butt. Alright, well, pretty interesting. I'm going to let that guy come through and hit me a couple times, I think. But I really can't let the board chaser come through yet. Hopefully I can keep him blocked for a while until the Pilgrim's I can uh, do a safe block. And let's go ahead and take one from the air. This is looking like one of the red deck one decks I've seen that plays a lot of multiple creatures. Um, actually, it looks like I'm okay blocking here because he has no open mana. So, we'll take that th uh, three toughness in the butt and not like it. Now let's see, um, white looks like to be the color I need here. So let's go ahead and get some white. Play the land. And we're doing pretty good here. So we'll wait a couple turns. And then we can use the our outburst here to basically win. So let's block there. And like this. I'm sure we lose one of those, but you can't win them all. Let's see what happens here. Oh, surprise. Uh, do a from beyond. Get another planes. How do we 
up to 25. This is the way the deck should run against an aggro deck, which typically, because of the variance and everything, had not worked out as well as I'd like. But it has done pretty well. So, ooh, let me go all in. It's time to uh, drop a planner outburst here. And what did you drop here? The Blighted Gorge. Um, yeah, I have to agree with uh, Covert Go Blue on this one. That is definitely a not so great land. It hasn't uh, lived up to the lofty look of it. But hey, you know, maybe it's working for some people. Alrighty. Oh, man. You end up doing that? Yeah, he sure did, because he had that out. I didn't even realize that. Um, busy talking. Not a huge crisis, though. So, if he was attacked next turn, that would be two, and that would be three damage, not even counting any bonuses for prowess. Um, well, no. That would be quite unfortunate. So, let's go ahead, and we'll use that dude for mana. make all that go away. We'll get some good card advantage out of it. And then next turn we can, uh, Nisa's Renewal, we'll get some more land. And we'll deal with whatever he actually does end up putting out. Which, uh, looking like it might be a pair of 2-2 two -two flyers. But I've got a long time for that's a bothersome, uh, event. So let's go ahead and, uh, get some land out here. So, I think, uh, black, blue, and a We'll get the other black out. Well, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. The black. Yeah, we'll get a green. I like be having a lot. And I have the Cinder Blade, too. So now we're in a pretty good spot where we can get whatever we want with the uh, From Beyond and be able to cast it. Two, three. So I got nine mana out. You can't really uh, complain too much about that. 33 life. I mean. And that's really why I like that card. It just really sets the opponent back on killing you. And does a really good job ramping you up. So you can cast the uh, crazy stuff you have in your deck. Now he might just do this again, which would be uh, pretty amusing. <coughs> so let's uh, drop that out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six... I have enough I could do it. Uh, I'm fairly positive I dropped Kiara out. She is not living. Well, she could live. I'm a big fan of not getting hit, so... Let's go ahead and drop her out. And... Use her ability. Nothing really... No real tangible object to hit with the... Angelic Edict, so I think we're done for the turn. We'll wait to the end of his turn and we'll drop that out. Ooh, boy, look at that. Oh, what are you gonna do? So, we'll wait for the end of turn, we'll do the search function, we'll get a uh, Ulamog, and we'll use that to take out some of his land. Oh, perfect. He's helping me out. Alright, so he's doing pretty much what I thought he was going to go after. The Planeswalker. And I was paying attention, and lo and behold, good news is I've got 12 mana available, so... One second.